And welcome to Dr. Mix. I hope you're doing super well. Today we're going to talk about PCs and we're going to specifically find out what is the best PC for video editing. This PC has been designed by scan.co.uk, the kind sponsors of today's video. I couldn't be more excited also because apparently they've made it color matching with my studio so I'm super excited. Shall we open it up? Yes, but before I do that, if you find this video useful, it would be great if you could subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. Yes, by hitting the bell button. Yes, thank you. I really appreciate that. And now let's open that baby. Water! Hello there. Right. So right here we got the box for what it's the motherboard. And obviously the unit has been already assembled by scan. Thank you very much. This must be the power supply and it's already in. Yeah. These are all the specs of the machine. We'll go through it. Don't worry. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, my Matrioska game is strong. Who's in there? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't believe it. No way! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, come on. I do not believe this. <laughs> what? That is ridiculous <laughs> no wait what is this online mixing mastering and production no way oh wait i gotta do that all right maybe i should put it there before i get any further right so now we open this Ooh. Okay, glass we put right here. Duck. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Look at this. Even the cables are like what? That, look at this. Wait. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I don't believe the amount of detail. This is like actually cut out, you see? Look at this beautiful wires! <laughs> yes, baby! <laughs> you know what? Let's go through the specs of this machine. CPU AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. This is a 16 core, 32 thread CPU with more than enough power for most modern workflows. CPU power in the video workflow is mainly used for encoding and decoding video. This means that when you're playing back video files, compressed codecs are decompressed by the CPU, then passed to the video software. When it comes to rendering, the CPU will do all the math to compress the video file down and write it to whatever codec you are rendering to. In general, more cores mean better performance, but Premiere Pro, the program I use, does not scale up performance linearly. So a 16 core CPU is the most affordable and efficient choice. Motherboard, Asus ROG Strix B550E. This is a solid motherboard with support for a Thunderbolt 3 PCIe card, which is hugely important in video workflows for external drives, input and output devices, and external monitoring. Memory, 64 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance. In order to work with 4K video, the minimum is 32 gigabyte. However, 64 gigabyte is recommended. Memory is also important for compositing applications such as After Effects to create motion graphics and ensure that the playback is always nice and smooth. GPU 
NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. This is a very powerful 8GB graphics card. NVIDIA have made massive leaps with their latest generation of GPU and with their new driver called RTX Studio. This GPU supports accelerated H.264 and 265, which means it does most of the hard work of encoding and decoding, making the rendering process a lot faster. Oh uh, well then, I think it's time to connect this baby. Uh, but first, where am I gonna put it? Well, maybe back here. I don't want to put it on the floor. Hmm. Voila. Let's put the beautiful glass back without breaking it. Look at that, man. Amazing. By the way, this is a monitor that I have just wall mounted and I'm going to connect it for the first time. Tack. Tack, tick, tack, boom. <laughs> Ooh, no, no. <laughs> That's amazing. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, I suspect this will take me a while. Uh, time lapse. I have finished setting up Windows and also synchronizing my very heavy Dropbox where I've got all my video sessions. The first thing I did is I tested one of my heaviest sessions, which is staying alive. Now, <laughs> this session was a nightmare because I used the biggest computer that I had in the studio and I couldn't have it run normally. Choppy video, choppy everything and it took like a million time to render as well. So obviously I had to test it. No problem going through the timeline like it's nothing. Look this multiple screen session. What? Multiple screens? No problem. No problem screens no problem and I'm running at half quality let's see full quality it doesn't even flinch we're running full quality for screens this PC is a game changer I can't believe it <laughs> look at it man if you want to know all the specs and all the specifications, prices and everything, there is a link in the description to the scan.co.uk website. It's super cool. You should check it out right now. So it's been a very super long day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am loving my new PC and uh, I hope you're making great music, great video, staying inspired and loving one another. All right. Take care. See you next time. Talk to Mix.